Hi, my name is Blake Brody. I'm an account executive at KCBD News Channel 11 in Lubbock. I'd say the number one thing that separates healthcare from any other vertical is the sheer amount of money that's spent in that category, which makes it such a worthwhile uh, category to chase is because of the money that's spent. Of course, that makes it challenging because it's very important that you get to, to the right person, you get to the doctor, you get past the gatekeeper. That's a little bit different than most verticals where you can just walk right in the door and talk to the business owner. This is one that takes a little bit of research. It takes a compelling uh, reason to get in the door, to get in front of the doctor in the first place. And sometimes that doesn't happen, but when it does, uh, it's great because another thing that separates health from any other vertical is you can make a really compelling ROI case uh, which can really justify a, a nice advertising spend because it might only take one or two additional surgeries in order for them to make money uh, for their practice. So that's, that's one thing that separates healthcare is the money that's spent and the, the, the ROI case that you can make. Plastic surgery is one that is really lucrative. More and more people are getting uh, cosmetic surgeries and there's a lot of money that's being spent there. So once again, you circle back to ROI the plastic surgeon that I closed, I was able to close it because I told him all we needed was two additional surgeries a month. It was like 26 surgeries over the course of a year. So a little over two a month was all it would take for him to double his money on a significant uh, advertising spend and he did it. So that's one that's a good one. Uh, cardiology is another one where there's a lot of money that's spent in the market and there's the ROI once again becomes uh, very easy to justify. So the number one thing with, uh, with healthcare, no matter which opportunity you're going down is I, I imagine there will be a really good ROI case you can make and that's what separates it. One of the first steps I tried to make is I, I try to get the doctor in the room with me which can be easier said than done. It's, it's so rewarding because you're talking to the person that will make the call so that's number one for me is at least uh, scheduling the appointment, the, either the initial appointment or especially the presentation at the end of the day to have the doctor or the key decision maker in the room and when I've had that I've actually sold it every single time. The health presentation that we give, that Megan, uh, not that Megan provides, and that she leads during the presentation, is it's bulletproof. I mean, it's 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 so well done as far as the research that's put into it. It's also localized because she shows how many monthly searches are being performed in your specific market related to the the products or services that you provide. And when it's all said and done, you go through the entire presentation. It's thorough and it's impressive and the doctors are left that they can't say no. We're blessed here in Lubbock working at KCBD that we have a great television presence that I mean almost everybody watches KCBD so you combine the power of TV with the the digital that we're able to bring to the table and it's there's so many people that we hit that they are almost left they can't say no and that's the best part.